Hey guys, how are we? It's Friday, it's nice and sunny, and I'm just waiting for my lunch, as always, from uh, this place over here. Awesome French patisserie. I thought that it would be an awesome time to do a quick Teams and Sky for Business update because there has been an awesome announcement this morning, courtesy of uh, Anthony Caragol on Twitter, saying that there will, there will, be a version of Sky for Business Server V Next. So there will be a Sky for Business Server Standard Edition. So we've been promised <laughs> in the V Next Edition, which is uh, Sky for Business Server 2019. Um, Anthony also says that there's a potential that it will talk to Microsoft Teams in the cloud via hybrid configuration. None of that is confirmed right now, but it is exciting news, especially for those of you that still have on-premise phone systems, that still want to talk to those legacy PABXs, and aren't, quite, re aren't uh, quite ready to move into the cloud as of yet. So that is awesome news. Speaking of Teams, um, if you've been living under a rock for the past week or and a half or so, you may have missed the awesome new command bar that's now available on Teams. If you don't know what I'm talking about, open up Teams right now, click in that little bar at the top that looks like a search bar, type a slash, and up comes a really cool list of commands. Now, one of the ones that I've been using so far is slash cool, literally, slash C-A-L-L, -L, and then the name of the person that you want to call. This is awesome. This is going to speed up making phone calls in Teams. Perfect for devs, perfect for receptionists, anyone that's super busy that wants to make a quick call, literally slash call, name of the person, boom, you're connected. How awesome is that? Uh, just on Teams as well, Microsoft uh, have been working very hard to uh, do something called in geo uh, residency with data. Basically, that's a fancy way of saying all your data remains as close to you as possible. So. Traditionally, if you were in the US, that meant most of your data for teams lived in US data centers. Um, they're trying to do the same thing with Australia, Japan, a whole bunch of other countries as well. And they just announced today that uh, in, uh, in data or in geo, in geography, data is now available. In geo data residency, that's a mouthful, isn't it? In geo data residency is now available for India. So that means that users in India will probably see better response times in teams and it means that all their data is a lot closer to themselves. How cool is this graffiti, by the way? This is a really cool area in Sydney. It's uh, down by Evely. If you know Sydney quite well, you'll know this area. There's a lot of cool little coffee shops and roads, etc., around. There's a really nice park over there, actually, as well. Um, sticking with Teams, because, you know, that's the topic of this conversation. Uh, if you haven't already checked out the App Store, where have you been? Microsoft and developers have been adding apps almost daily to the store these days. My personal favorite is the WhoBot. Um, this has been recently released. Basically, it's an app that allows you to punch in someone's name, um, their shoe size, potentially, uh, what they're working on, where they're working on, who they're working with, and it will spit back information about that person as well as uh, others in their team. It's a really, really cool, simple way of finding people within your organization um, who you need to connect with. So say, you know, for instance, you need to find out who's working on that cool new Teams project. Punch in Teams into Teams, and I don't know, you might cause a, um, an apocalypse by searching for Teams in Teams, but I will come a list of, uh, of people who uh, you potentially might want to communicate with. That is really cool. So awesome job, Microsoft, keep it up. Um, feel free to check out the blog as well, blog.chiffers.com. I will try and keep that as up to date as possible. News is happening so fast at the moment, so this is probably the best, best way of keeping up to date. And of course, if you're not watching this on Twitter, you can follow me at C Chiffers. Thanks, guys.